if Lee Haney had stuck around until 1992, would he have won and captured his ninth Olympia title, rendering Dorian Yates to a perhaps six-time champion, or maybe even less? I think in 1993 it's obvious what would have happened, but here in 92 I think Lee Haney could have reduplicated this 1991 version, and that's what this is, a matchup between the 91 Lee Haney and the 1992 Dorian Yates. Of course, this is a renowned feud between these two, but they've only stood toe-to-toe one time, one time in the Olympia stage. I guess it's because Lee Haney defeated Dorian Yates, the only time Dorian lost. This is just a front relaxed position. I didn't have the whole bodies, so it's hard to get the sizes correctly. I have to say, though, Lee Haney has a bountiful, you know, pecs. Look at the size of his bosoms. There, I said it. Just massive. And Dorian Yates, not as big, but he is probably in better condition. And we'll pretty much take that probably and switch it for a for sure. You can definitely see Dorian. Far better conditioning. Go to the side here for a side comparison, and this is a, a neat one, because Dorian's actually standing behind Lee in the actual picture, and I have to say, Dorian's pecs are a lot bigger than the previous year, not as big as those giant bosoms of Lee Haney. Now here's a glimpse of the year before, and you can see Dorian, he might have had better conditioning in the obliques, things of that nature, but I think he's overcooked. His, his pecs were a lot bigger in 92. All right, front double bicep pose. And unfortunately, we have to go with a photo shoot for the whole body of this one. It's strange. There's not too many pictures of Dorian hitting a front double bicep pose. And this is a case, guys, where neither or their either is impressing me at all in this shot. Dorian's biceps might be a little bit bigger, but Lee's are probably better quality more of a peak. Now, I definitely like the obliques and the the rib expansion rather than the not so much the obliques, but the just the vacuum pose, I guess you could call it for Lee Haney and those just enormous ginormous lats. Now, this is pretty much the only other one of Dorian. And you can see the bicep quality of both guys. It's just not not really worthy of giving anybody a point in this one. But anyway, we will venture on to the front lats bread, and I have to say, these guys were designed to do battle. Both of them kind of weak in the front double by. Both of them very strong in this shot. I have to say, Lee Haney is winning all aspects except for the all important lats. You can definitely see structurally, he does have a bigger set of pecs. So, man, oh man, is this a tight decision? The judges would have had their work cut out for them. And you have to think, Lee might have put on a few more pounds. You never know. I'll write everything down and I'll make a final decision at the end of this. And you can just see in the side chest pose what I mean about Lee's pecs are so much bigger. It's not really due to the training. You can see his pecs just more big. I mean, just imagine, guys, if these guys were females, the female version of them. I mean, Dorian would be a woman of the night. Fresh in your drink for your governor. Pickle juice, pickle juice. Do it. <laughs> but anyway, you can imagine he would have some smaller, you know, smaller upper body breasts. And Lee Haney, the female version of him? Hmm, I'm talking town town. She would have massive big breasts. So it's equal here for the men. I mean, Lee's going to have a bigger set of pecs. And to tell you the truth, judging by this picture alone, Haney's conditioning appears to be better. So he's definitely getting the win in the side chest. The side tricep would have been a heck of a battle. Like I said, from the front double by to the front lat, these guys are designed to do battle. Both of them strong in this pose. Not a very good angle of Lee Haney. His tricep itself appears to be more striated. But when I look at the rest of the physique, and maybe even the calves for Dorian, he may have got an edge in this one, but this is not as strong as a point as Lee was fetching in the side chest, and I'm writing all this down. Back developments, and again, this is uh, pretty much a toss-up, depending on what you prefer, your tastes, your flavors. Lee Haney, genetically speaking, I think he has an edge on Dorian Yates. 
But I mean Dorian, no slouch. Look how low his lats go. And maybe even thicker. Well, I don't know. But one thing's for sure, Dorian. He has the hardness, the grainy conditioning, I think. Here's a full body one of each, and you can see what I mean. Lee Haney does have a bigger, thicker set of lats. And even in the lag department, much smaller set of lags. But I think that has to do with the display, the way he was displaying them. Maybe to create more size in the upper body? Hard to say. But I mean, speaking as is, Dorian probably would have got the edge due to the muscle separation. Look how thick his traps are. Wow, what a back, what a back. But you have to think, guys. If Lee seen this coming in 92, he would have put on the beef. Come on, thick and strong. But I'm speaking as a, a Lee Haney fan. I like both of these guys. But Dorian gets the rear lat. Rear double by. On the other hand, I don't know. Lee's thickness in those lower lats. And there's a little asymmetry for Dorian's. But I mean, when I look at the lag department, it's kind of all she wrote. Dorian's winning in the calves. And you can see his quads and, of course, the hamstrings, glutes. It's just a stronger back shot. But man, oh man, the possibilities Lee could have had for that back could have been dominant. But I don't know. I think Dorian is just a little too hard, too crisp in both of the back shots. Well, I don't know. Judging by this one. And those massive lats, they may have swayed the judges to go for Haney. Especially if he was going for a ninth title. I mean, come on. But personally, those lags, it's just a little too much. Of course, the asymmetry. Mark's Max Muscle likes his symmetrical poses, especially here in the back shot. Let's just say the rear double by would have been pretty close. Ab and thigh time, and that's course means we're almost to an end an end sorry a little tongue tied by the end of these ones dorian yates he looks like a a action figure not a pokemon or whatever i i'm a little older i don't watch that but i used to watch astro boy do you remember atlas astro boy's brother don't you think he looks like dorian yates well i do i apologize for those of you who had never watched or heard of astro boy but anyway, the ab and thigh shot, structurally speaking, Lee Haney has it. Much like all of these poses, he actually looks better in the thigh this time. But the abs, the conditioning, Dorian has it. It's a friggin' close one, guys, no matter which way you look at this one. So, maybe a slight edge to Dorian. I like the conditioning. But this was a very close one, guys, and pose down. hoo Nice little shot by both gentlemen. This may be one of the better, most musculars of Dorian Yates. Looks a little harder, crisper, and on the contrary to all of these shots, he looks bigger in the pec region than does Lee Haney. Pose down again. Hoo-ha! Scent of a bodybuilder. I always used to say that, and you guys never thought it was funny, so I kind of quit. Anyway, the conditioning of Lee Haney, when you zoom in here, he is defeating Dorian Yates in the most muscular. For what it's worth... It's not a mandatory shot, but hey, it is worth a little something something on my little score sheet for sure. So, to answer the question, could Lee Haney have won a ninth title if he had stuck around till 92? I think yes, he could have. And I think this contrib er, it could be contributed to the fact that Dorian Yates of 92 was not that much better than 91, and you have to think... Lee, if he was going for a ninth title, he did improve in 91, so he could have did the same thing, put on some beef, bulked up a little bit, come in strided. Wow, with that structure, Lee Haney could have won, I don't know, maybe a tenth title. He could have been defeated the 1993 Dorian Yates. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Very important matchup, for sure. You guys have requested this one many, many times. Hit thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, have a great day.